Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here I have imported the Instagram logo, for Instagram logo, link is provided in the description. Now let's start with creating the callout title, create a new composition, I will name it as callout. Set time duration for this composition to, 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create our callout, select the ellipse tool. Make sure fill is set to solid color. Stroke is set to, none. Create a small circle as shown. Perfect. Make sure you have not selected shape layer. Now select pen tool. Make sure fill is set to none. Stroke is set to solid color. Here I will set stroke width to, 10. Now create line as shown. Perfect, here you can set color of your choice. Or you can pick color from previous shape. Or for this shape layer, in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to the shape layer. Now set color of your choice for this shape layer. Perfect. You can copy and paste it on second shape layer. Perfect. Now select ellipse tool. Make sure fill is set to, solid color. Set stroke to, none. Create circle as shown. Here I will set the shape color. Perfect. Now let's add the Instagram logo. Add logo to the timeline. For this logo I will add fill effect. I will set color to white. Perfect. Now let's scale this logo to fit in the circle. Perfect. Now select all the layers. Let's now adjust the position for all the layers. Perfect. Now here we will add our text. Here I will add my channel name. Here I will be using Unisans font family, font style to bold. Select all caps. Now reduce the font size. I will set tracking to zero. Now position is as shown. Perfect. Now let's add another text layer. position it as shown. Perfect. Here we have added all the layers and text. Now let's animate them one by one, for shape layer 1. Make sure anchor point is set at center of shape layer. While pressing Y key on your keyboard, select the anchor point and position it at center. 
Do the same for second layer also. Now press S to bring up scale. Now at 10 frames, create keyframe for scale. Now at start, set scale to 0%. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now for second layer. Let's add trim path. For trim path, we will create keyframe for this end. Now at near about 20 to 25 frames, create keyframe for end, set end to 100%. Now at 10 frames, set end to 0. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now for third layer. Position the anchor point to the center of shape layer. For shape layer, press says to bring up scale. Now at one second. Create keyframe for scale. Now at 20 frames, change scale to zero. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Here you can adjust the keyframe position depend on the layer 2 animation. Perfect. Now we will do the same for Instagram logo. Press says to bring up scale. Now at near about 1 second and 10 frames. Create keyframe for scale. Now at 10 frames backward. Set scale to 0%. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's animate the text layers. For text layer. Press P to bring up position. Now at near about 1 second and 20 frames. Create keyframe for position. Now at 1 second and 10 frames. Change X position value as shown. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now make sure you have not selected any layer. Now select the ellipse tool. Here we need to create shape as shown. Now place it above the text layer. For text layer, change track mat to alpha inverted mat shape layer 4. You can see the preview. Here you can adjust the shape layer position to match the logo. Here you can adjust the position of position keyframes. Perfect. Now for above text layer. Press P to bring up position. Now at near about 1 second and 20 frames. Create keyframe for position. Now come few frame backward, change Y position value as shown. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Now select the rectangle tool. Create shape in such a way that it hides the second text layer. For text layer, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 5, you can see the preview. Let's see the complete preview. Perfect.
Now let's create a null object. Select all the layers, parent it to null object. For null object. Here you can adjust the position for the lower third, and you can also adjust the size. Perfect. Now let's see how to create the reverse animation. Select all layers. Pre-compose them. I will name it as Instagram. Now for Instagram composition. Go to Time, select Enable Time Remapping. Now at near about 2 seconds. Create keyframe for time remap. Now at 3 seconds, set time remap to 2 seconds. Now for end keyframe, set time remap to 0. You can see the complete preview. Here you can also adjust the keyframe position to increase or reduce the animation speed. You can see the preview. Perfect, here our call out lower third is created. Similarly you can create lower third for other social media handlers. In next tutorial we will see how you can track this lower third with moving objects. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.